this weapon has been my radar for quite a while, but I didn't really want to use it yet and wanted to focus on other weapons. Well, I did use this weapon, but I thought it was alright and put in my inventory to never be used out again. But I revived it from my inventory to give it one last chance of redemption, and it's alright to say the least. So let's talk about how you can get this weapon. The Gilded Greatsword is a craftable weapon from the Clever NPC. Nope, not like a, not like a smart one. His name is literally Clever at Cloud City. You need 800 gold, Crude Club from Ogres, Zap Antenna from Copper Ants, and 12 Brass from the Kenna NPC at Savannah. This weapon's unique gimmick is that any damage you inflict with the Gilded Greatsword will give the Shock debuff. The Heavy is also pretty cool where you summon Zeus upon the enemy as well as Sword Slam. This weapon already looks not that bad of a weapon, it looks pretty fun to use. So let's get into the stats. The Gilded Greatsword is an lightning type weapon that has a base damage of 30, a base range of 10, 20% less end lag, and a very awkward stat of 31% less swing speed, and lastly, 60% extra knockback. Now, on to some other stuff about the weapon. You may or may not have asked yourself, well, the Gilded Greatsword is, well, a greatsword, then why does this recipe include a crude club instead of in, like an early version of the weapon? like Scarabow with the wooden bow in its recipe, and Scarecrow hat with the leather hat in its re recipe. Well, it's a funny story actually. Vord confirmed that the reason why the crafting recipe uses the crude club is because before the game released, ogres actually used to use a wooden greatsword instead of the crude club, but they changed their sword to the crude club because it's more fitting, and didn't change the recipe. So that's cool. Also speaking of Vord, this guy, my good friend, also got the Gilded Greatsword nerfed before the game released. I kind of forgot how much he nerfed the Gilded Greatsword, but he thought that the weapon was too good for when you get it, and got the devs to nerf its damage by a little bit. But now let's move on to some recommended loadouts thrown at this weapon. Usually, with some of the weapons I talk about in these videos, I would usually go for like a crit build and a non-crit build, but the non-crit builds uh, kind of suck to use on this weapon, so I'm only going to show my crit build I have. It's very similar to the one I had in the Halberd video, but I can't really make it better than this, unless I'm dumb. But yeah, this is pretty much good for a build. And you can make a non-crit build if you want to, but I don't think they're good enough to be put in this video. Alright, now onto the bosses. A very fitting boss to test on is the boss that's in the general area, Highway Sun. But I'll replace Spark Scale with the Monda Ring to, you know, add some challenge, and it doesn't do that bad. I've also tested it on some other bosses, and it does pretty well, but I'll just like let the Highway Sun footage play through, and I don't want to add on to the bosses, so I don't want to draw the video up to like 8 years. And with that, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for 1,000 6,000 subscribers. I appreciate it with above all my heart. And if you want to see more of these um, type of videos, then put some weapons down in the comments below, and I'll talk about them maybe. And with that, it's time for the end of the video, and goodbye.